Oh, there we go. Can I edit it? Okay. Huh. And should be good. Should be good. <laughs> you know what? Today is a great, an amazing day right now because that just arrived. And so this was, of course, not planned. I never plan. I do plan things. But not this. This was planned for a different day, and I just cannot. Don't run with scissors. Um, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. <laughs> Christmas in, in, uh, in November. What am I excited about? I'm excited about this box here, right here. I'm excited about what is in this box right here. Yes, because what is in here is something very special, right? What is here? What is here? What is here? Uh, what is here? It's a package from Germany. And I don't know what's inside. Only one person does. A true pioneer, a true revolutionary. A man that has, you will hear more of his name in the future. And what do we have here? <laughs> what? what is going on? What is going on here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. You see what this is? For those of you in the know, if you know what this is, what I hold in my hand. So I have been in contact, lucky me, I have been in contact with the, the creator of this world, um, this uh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful man named Bernd Musin. Thank you. Danke, Bernd Musin. So um, the deal is, I don't know what I'm getting in these, in these, in these, now, ooh, three boxes. <laughs> um, next week, I'm going to talk about these bows. What is this? Um, this is a very special, special bow. Arcus from Germany. Now, for many of you out there, you have a bow like this. You have a bow made of wood. And for a lot of you, a bow uh, is made of Pernambuco. Some of you have chosen to opt for the carbon fiber version of this, namely the Coda bow, which is an American company, nothing to sniff at. But if you know what this name is, I'm going to let it. It means it's if uh, the the Coda bow is like uh, I don't know. It's like a it's like um, I don't know the Ford of um, carbon fiber. This is the Porsche, okay? And so I'm doing an honest unboxing of three bows. <laughs> it's gonna be, I'm not supposed to, um, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm super excited. If for those of you out there that are familiar with Coda, um, yeah, they can get kind of amazing. So let's see what's in here. There's some stuff. Okay, that's showing what's in the contents of everything. So I don't want to look at that for the moment. Um, oh, I get it in French. <laughs> right, and so I have something here. So to give an example uh, of what these bows are, let me, let me give an example. If you've seen them before, they're quite incredible. I'm going to go to the cello because I don't care about anything but cello, and neither do you. Here we go. Right. Give a quick example of what I have in here. 
This right here will be the versions you'll be seeing today. You'll be seeing a T version, an S version, and an M version. And those are the respective uh, levels that you'll be seeing. I don't know what I'm getting, so let's see. Anyway, uh, enough of you. Enough of you. Uh, right. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, so I have M4, M5, M6, and M7. Of course, I'm going to go for the M7 here. The M7 is a fantastic bow. Wow, wow. I need to rosin them. I need to, they don't look like they have any rosin on the bow hair at all. An M7. Well, I've never played an M7 before. M7. Uh, those are... Wow. So, this will supposed to match my Ruggieri. This this bow right here is supposed to match my Ruggieri. So, I'm really excited about this one. In particular, the one I'm most interested in is this level right here. So, the M. Let me show you what these look like. A little up close. Just to give you an example of an M5, M6. So these are the M versions. This is the M7 and M6, M5 and M6, excuse me. Lovely, very nice craftsmanship. I'm loving the, the silver on it. Oh, these are fantastic. Both round stick. So I like to have the round stick very much. So if you see that round stick, very nice. Okay, okay. That's the first box. So I have a selection of M5, 6, and 7, which is the <laughs> very nice one here. And they say, like, the higher they get in numbers, the better they are. All right. Anyway, that's the first box, but there's two other boxes in here. Oh, my gosh. Let's see what happens. What? All right, here we go. Round two, box number two. <laughs> okay, what we have are, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So he was um, not supposed to do this. So I talked to Bernd and I asked him to put in a, um, I, uh, Adriano Ramos, hello, how much are they? Um, how much are these bows? They range from anywhere between, I have the Moussines here. So for those of you out there, I'm going to be showing what these are. Oh my gosh, there's something incredible in there. It's like I've opened up and I've seen the eye of God. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I've seen something incredible in this box. <clears throat> And you'll get a full explanation of all this stuff. These are the Moosing C4, C5s. And you're probably familiar with this type of, of bow right here. You're f quite familiar with even the, the, the pattern on it. You see, you can actually see the carbon fiber pattern on this. And these are his um, entry-level bows. I think they start around 300 euros, each of them. And if you play a Coda bow, you're probably familiar with like this pattern. It's very much like this right here. It looks, it looks like carbon fiber. It looks like a woven fiber, very common. But what he does is he does something a little bit more. So these are his moussine lines. I'm going to be fully reviewing these as well. This is the C4, C5, C5, and the, the most economical one, which would be the C4. Really nice. Again, these are all German made. 100% German made. Again, you don't have rosin on these. Whoop, but <laughs> I didn't sit all the way down. Um, so hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Uh, how to take care of them. So beautiful. Yes, they're pretty. They're wonderful. Um, they are beautiful, Ernesto. So, but hold, because in here I have something. See, I told him you need to include a bow that will seduce me. 
And if this is what it says in this box, then I have no clue what's going to happen in the, in the third box. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have to do these one by one. All right, I can't do these like both at the same time. This is an M8. All right? An M8. Don't sit on it, Jonathan. You're asking how much these bows can be. This is an M8 bow. And what you see there is real gold. Okay? That is not solid gold, but it's real gold. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, isn't it? This bow runs... I don't know. How much, how much are these bows? I am holding here a... Talk about luxury. Just sit down if you're you're ready to sit down. <sighs> what is this version here? The M. Five thousand six hundred euro is this bow right here. Five thousand six hundred euro. Do your conversion on your side of the planet. Beautiful, just gorgeous. And I'll be seen. As you see right here, the the carbon fiber. This is not the way it um, looks. Uh, typically, this is a very particular type of carbon fiber. Wonderful. And look at the tip. It's gold. Oh, wow. I've never seen one before. I've never held one. Fantastic. Right. So that one. Don't sit on it. <laughs> An M8. And he says, that's not the top level. No, there is one more in here. That is an M9. Oh, my. He wasn't supposed to do this. An M9. Whew. 8,400 euro. Just gorgeous. Now you got more gold. It's lovely. And apparently, you know, because it's, it's beautiful. It looks beautiful. There is an M9 right there. You saw it here first. An M9 cello bow. Look how beautiful that is. That's, that's gorgeous. It's so luxurious. It's quite luxurious. I can't wait to play this one. I want to play this one. <laughs> Is there rosin on this one? <laughs> I want to play this one. Oh, wow. He says that, you know, if you think of carbon fiber bows, I asked him what would, would, would cause a bow to be, you know, uh, you know, this much. And he says that it's quite exceptional. Um, lovely. I definitely... I'm putting rosin on it. I've been wanting to do this. <laughs> They're really light, by the way. And whatever your carbon, uh, your car, your Pernambuco bow is, they're really, really light. got gold on it. I really like it. It's cool. Very nice. M M9. But there's one other box. So now I have no clue what's going to happen now next. I think I was supposed to get some S S's in there and some Listen, wow. Wow. That's an M. That that is a 9. That is a 9. All right. It's like when you go and Test drive like the most expensive car at the, at the, the lot. But there's one other box in here. What is this? What is this? Box number three. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So he's, ooh. What is going on here? Huh. What I have is, I asked him for you know, a change. Um, I guess I got two. This is the S version, and there's something brand new in here I've never seen before. The P. Huh. 
So I'll show you the other two that are I'm going to be testing. Oh, he's got two different. Oh, a hexagonal. I see. Okay. These are two. These are level six bows. Right here. This is the bow I'm, I, I've, I've, I'm very familiar with. Not familiar with at all. This is the first time I, I'm touching one. This is a T version of the bow. It's a new one he has made. Um, yeah, so that's a T5. These are running around 1,700 euro. And then this one is a P6. I have no clue what this is. So this is brand new. I didn't even know this existed. So this is going to be interesting. So a T5 and a P6. Right. Very nice. They're incredibly light. All these bows are just incredibly light. You know, when we do our interview next week, so stay tuned for that. We'll make our interview, me and Bert, and he's going to describe to you why he made these bows and how this dream started 25 years ago and where he came from. If you have seen the interview of Ned Steinberger, you should watch it. You know, you're really lucky to have that interview on this channel. Um, right. Um, you're going to be even more lucky to have this guy's interview because this man, just like uh, Ned Steinberger was a pioneer of, of electric instruments like this one I have right here, this beautiful instrument, Bernd, he's a pioneer of bows, a modern, a modern pioneer. So, right, these are the S versions. And if you've seen these bows before, that's great, wrong one. <laughs> if you've seen these bows before, and they have a very particular look to them. Here we go. There you have right here the the S. And it, you see this bow, it's um it's got to look at the the, the 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 talon is a very particular shape like that. So these are the ones I am familiar with. This is one I have been playing for throughout September. Edgar Roos had one, he loaned it to me. These are great bows. They're super light, 68 grams. These bows, 68 grams. And I have a hexagonal one. As you see right here, this is hexagonal. And I have one that is round, which is my preference around. I'm going to find out what my Ruggieri 7 8 and my um, Ned Steinberger cellos like. Do they like what version? I'm presuming it's going to be the M because it's supposed to uh, match my cello. That's what he says. But yeah. The P6 was completely not not a clue as to what the P6 is. He's going to explain that to me. And I guess we're going to start with, um, why not, right? I'm going to play some of these. I'm going to play, I think they all have a little bit of rosin on them. I'm going to go right to the ends. Why not, right? It's a, it's a music channel. Might as well play. Okay, here we go. I'm going to play the cheapest one he sells, the C4, and the most expensive he sells, the M9. This is an 8,000 euro difference between these two. 400 8, and 8,400. Okay. Is it worth it? <laughs> is it worth it? Of course it's worth it. This one has gold on it, you know. What has gold on it? Many people out there, including myself, are not convinced that, an ex unless you're professional level, that you would need to play, have an instrument, uh, have a need to have a 8,000 euro, 9,000 euro bow. <laughs>
list I do on the low strings. So this is the cheapest one you can get. Now to jump up 8,000 euros gold. <laughs> There's something about, he says, the sound production and, you know, they're made on machines, but there is an artistry to making something on a machine. It's quite amazing. I'm excited to learn more about these, but I'm not supposed to be seduced by this one, right? It's more than that one. I can get two of those for this. <laughs> so very nice. Very nice. Yes. <laughs> Well, wow. hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of feeling in it. It's something, I don't know, it uses things you feel in it. Seeing things that you feel. I don't know. I don't want to put it down just yet. Maybe the, this version. I'll pull up this version. This is an M8 now. Um, so, right, M8. the difference crazy huh what how's that possible all right i guess it is possible because they're super well engineered on both right i i have to say there's an it's quite exceptional see i gotta stop doing this i'm gonna go back to this <laughs> yep 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 Oof. it's like butter it's like butter it's very light it's, it's like flows it's wow right okay so i am partially convinced at least there is a difference between the m versions of these bows of the nine and the eight all right he says they're of exceptional quality right that is quite amazing so i'm going to look down the comment section see if you guys are saying hi to you guys and then, um, do you have any questions or want me to play a little bit of something with any of the bows? I'll do it now. Otherwise, I, you know, I, have, I have nothing prepared. But I have a bunch of music I've done. Now's the time for requests. Otherwise, I'm going to be ending in about five minutes. Interesting, right? Hmm. <laughs> What's like the nicest ones and the, and the not so nice one next to each other in this right here? Right. Reading your comments as I usually do. <laughs> Can I do a giveaway? <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> can I do a giveaway? You can ask Bernd if you can do a giveaway um, of these things. No, I did not go crazy and and like and uh, and like you know, it's very interesting. Wow, it like glimmers this one right here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Very nice. All right. I'll do one song if you guys request a single song. 
All right, there you have it. These three fantastic bows. Now I can, you know, answer you guys. Oh. So hello everyone. Thank you for hiding. Thank you for doing. Dude, you got to send over for review. Yes, I did. Book Dragon. Um. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, so, Adriana, why do you have all those bows? And so I have all these bows, Adriana, because I'm going to be conducting an interview with the man that started Arcus. The, his name is Bernd Musling. Mus, Musling? I'm just destroying his name. And so he's the man behind the idea of creating fine carbon fiber bows. And we're not talking Coda, Coda bows. We're talking proper bows a true pioneer in this industry. Long before Coda bows were a thing, this guy in Germany was making these. So you'll find out all about that in the coming weeks. It is ridiculously exciting, Sarah. And um, Shamsa, yes, I will weigh them. You can see the weights online. There's from 68 to 72. We'll get them fully weighed. I'm going to be talking to the man that created all this. So no worry there, everyone. And so... <laughs> so, Josh, I cannot do a giveaway. Um, and there will be blind testing in the studio. I'll have to have some help for that. So just hand me a bow and I'll, like, pick the one that, that is it. But there you have it. It was just a quick unboxing today. I really appreciate it. All everyone sort of tuning in and seeing what these are about. Um, yeah, it's um, kind of interesting what's going on right now in the world of of cello. I have particular uh, pegs here. And so particular bows, particular cello. Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. And I hope you are too. I know. I know. I do have to give them all back to him. I do have to give them all back. Um, hello, Marjena. Poland. Um, how many bows do I plan to use? One of these will remain with me. Which one? I do not know. And we will find out in the foreseeable future. I'm going to interview him and we're going to have that interview. It may be a live stream interview. I don't know. Should I try a live stream interview? That would be interesting. That would be interesting. See if that is... um. Should I do a live stream interview? I don't know. You guys leave a comment. See if I should do a live stream interview so you can ask him, the creator, and see if he's up for that too. We'll have an interview interview, and then we'll like have a live stream so you guys like a Q&A of these instruments. And I'll be like your, your little like, ah, I'll do what you asked me to do. Right. Well, thank you again for tuning in. Um, I'm going to be signing off because I have other students to teach today. Hey, if you like learning cello, I teach online. I not only just upload on this channel, I teach online. I do <laughs> reviews of stuff. I am super blessed to have access to wonderful things like this, wonderful students that motivate me to do such amazing, to do such content. And I'm going to play all of them, by the way. There's 12 bows in here. So. I have to find, you know, the one I was most interested in is this one here, right here. This is the M5. So that's the one I am interested in to see what happens. Yes, so if you have never heard of this brand before, if you've never heard of fine carbon fiber bows in Germany, remember this name. Remember the channel. My name is Jonathan. I play cello. I teach cello. And again, I want to thank you for allowing me to join you on your journey of music discovery. Hello, Austria. And um, to everyone who's tuned in, blessings to all of you. Music is a blessing this time for everyone across the world. I want you to all have a wonderful day. And we will just read the last of your comments there. Um, I will upload it, Book Dragon. And it's going to be an exciting week. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I don't know how many bows. I have like $40,000 euros worth of bows in my hand. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, not 40,000, like 20,000, 5,000. I don't know. I haven't going to calculate. Just a bunch. And, but you know, they're priceless. Each one of these is a dream come true for a lot of people. And, and you know, before I go, I want to talk about the fact that 
We are living in a transition for our world. Though we play an ancient art, we are also uh, in the middle of a transition to a modern world. Modern world that uses sustainable products and that can leverage technologies and, and materials that weren't, in, that weren't you know, available at the time of the great masters. And Bernd Musin and the people at Arcus embody the, the, one of the reasons I love about uploading on YouTube and my channel and being just alive today is that we can access incredible technology and research and really precise, precision art, artisan work um, using new materials. Imagine if Stradivarius or, or Jean-Baptiste um, uh, Jean Villon had access to carbon fiber. Villon, the, one, the man that invented this bow, a very particular bow, it's a Villon bow, he, um, he was an inventor, and I guarantee you, Viom would have used carbon fiber if he was given a chance. So we'll see. We will see what happens in the foreseeable future. Twelve bows. Bye-bye.